What we're going to be discussing today is the difference between scalars and vectors. So let's start off with scalars first. They are quantities which only have a magnitude and they do not have a direction. As an example of a scalar, we can think of, let's say, temperature. So temperature is a very good example of a scalar. The reason for that is because we describe temperature just as a numbered quantity, a number assigned to, let's say, each point uh, in a particular field. And uh, it does not really make sense to say a statement such as the temperature of this water bottle is 21 degrees, 30 degrees to the north. Yeah, so that does not happen. So once again, uh, scalars, should we just write this up here they um, only have a magnitude now vectors on the other hand are different they're described by both a magnitude and a direction so the the vectors they have a magnitude and a direction. Hence, they're typically represented with an arrow. For example, uh, let's have a look. I'm just going to draw a little block. And let's say that this block is moving to the right. So let's try again and draw a slightly better arrow. That's a bit better. And let's say that this block is moving at, let's say, 20 meters per second. Now, the direction of this arrow could be pointing in a number of different ways. So, velocity is an example of a vector quantity because it is described both by the quantity, which is this 20 over here, and the direction, which is this arrow just over here. So once again, just to summarize, scalars only have a magnitude, they have no direction. Vectors have both a magnitude and also a direction. Now here are some examples of scalar and vector quantities. In terms of scalars, distance is a classical example, so how far have you traveled, not counting the direction whatsoever. Whereas a displacement is the distance traveled in a particular direction. Later on in the course, we're going to look at some specific mathematical examples covering the difference between the two. Speed is... Um, the, just the magnitude of, of, of the speed, how many meters per second are you covering, without taking into consideration the direction. Velocity is the speed in a particular direction. Other examples of scalars are mass, energy, and pressure, and other examples of vectors are acceleration. For example, you could be accelerating in the direction of motion, such as a car emerging out of a green traffic light and accelerating away, or it could be um, in the opposite direction to motion, such as a skydiver who has just opened their parachute, and in which case the acceleration is in the opposite way of the um, of motion. Force is also a vector and momentum is also a, um, a vector, mass times velocity. Okay folks, so hopefully this video uh, makes sense. If there are any questions, feel free to drop a comment down below and please consider subscribing.